Is matcha acidic? This is something a lot of people ask, especially if they're concerned with their health. Eating acidic foods may contribute to acid reflux, erosion of tooth enamel, and increased risk of certain health conditions. So is matcha one of these foods? In this video, we're going to answer the question, is matcha acidic once and for all? We'll get to the bottom of a lot of the stubborn matcha myths when it comes to acidity, health, and more. Let's get started. So before we answer the question, it's important to go through a quick middle school chemistry lesson. Substances are either basic, acidic, or neutral. This is determined by measuring the substance on the pH scale. The pH scale is a numerical representation of how acidic or alkaline a substance is, ranging from 0 to 14. A pH value of 7 is considered neutral, while values below 7 indicate acidity and values above 7 indicate alkalinity. The lower the pH value, the more acidic the substance is, and vice versa. So how is acidity measured? The acidity in beverages and foods is determined by measuring the concentration of hydrogen ions present in the substance. A higher concentration of hydrogen ions results in a lower pH value, indicating higher acidity. Conversely, a lower concentration of hydrogen ions results in higher pH values, indicating alkalinity. In the context of matcha, understanding the pH scale is crucial to evaluate whether this green tea variety is acidic or alkaline, and how it compares to other beverages and foods. So matcha is generally considered to be slightly acidic or neutral, with a pH level ranging from around 5.5 to 7. This makes it a mildly acidic beverage, similar to regular green tea. To put it in perspective, the pH of water is neutral, around 7, while coffee and fruit juices often have lower pH values, indicating higher acidity. Scientific studies and research have been conducted to analyze the pH levels of various teas, including matcha. These studies typically involve measuring the pH of tea infusions and comparing them to the results of the pH scale. While specific research on matcha's acidity may vary, the consensus is that matcha falls on the mildly acidic range. So how does matcha compare to a drink like coffee, for example? Matcha and coffee are often compared to one another when it comes to caffeine, health benefits, and flavor. So let's do a quick comparison of the two to see which one is the most acidic. The pH of coffee is somewhere between 4.5 and 5, which makes it quite acidic, almost on a similar level to beer. As we mentioned before, matcha is only slightly acidic, and some matcha can be neutral, like water. What's even more impressive is that matcha actually has an alkalizing effect on the body, so it works for restoring your pH balance. So what are some different factors that can affect the acidity of the matcha? You may have noticed that we gave a range between 5.5 and 7, so it's important to discuss the different factors that can influence the acidity of a matcha. First, we have the storage. When matcha is exposed to air, it can undergo oxidation, which may lead to changes in its chemical composition. This oxidation process can cause a slight decrease in pH over time, making the tea slightly more acidic. This is why oxidized teas like black teas are more acidic than unoxidized teas like green teas. Even exposure to light, especially direct sunlight, can degrade certain compounds in the matcha tea. This is why it's so important to store your matcha correctly. But there are also other factors besides how you store matcha which can contribute to the acidity of the tea. But let's talk a little bit about growing conditions. The products applied to the tea plants used to make matcha can have an impact on the final pH. This means that the pH of the soil, the pH of the water, and the pH of the fertilizer used on the plants can all make matcha more or less acidic. This is something to keep in mind when you're wondering whether or not matcha is acidic. How the matcha is processed can also affect the pH. For example, if the tea leaves are steamed for a longer time, the pH will be raised slightly, making the matcha closer to neutral. Also, blending the tea leaves during their production will influence the pH. Some farmers make teas like matcha using multiple tea plant varieties grown on different plots of land, and this will impact the acidity of the finished product. So how do you influence the acidity of matcha when it comes to the preparation of the tea? This is something that you yourself have control over. And the biggest factor when it comes to the acidity of the matcha is the pH of the water that you use. It might be worth testing your water because a more acidic water will create a more acidic matcha. Assuming you use perfectly neutral water, you can still influence the acidity of a matcha by using a higher brewing temperature. Using extremely hot water may increase the extraction of certain compounds, which can lead to a more acidic taste. On the other hand, using cooler water around 160 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius may result in a less acidic taste. So when people ask about whether or not matcha is acidic, it's important to point out that even though it's slightly acidic, matcha has an alkaline nature when metabolized by the body. This means that it can help balance the body's pH levels, promoting a more alkaline environment. An alkaline state is believed to be beneficial for overall health as it may support the body's natural detoxification process and reduce the risk for certain health issues related to acidity, such as acid reflux and digestive discomfort. So how does this process work? The catechins and amino acids that are found abundantly in matcha play a vital role in 
and neutralizing its acidity. Catechins are a group of antioxidants that can have an alkalizing effect on the body when they're metabolized. One particular catechin in matcha, epigallocatechin gallate, has been extensively studied for its potential health benefits, including its ability to counteract oxidative stress and inflammation. So if you want to reduce the acidity in the matcha, as we mentioned before, it all comes down to how you prepare it and which matcha that you select. As you're drinking the matcha, there are a few additional tricks that you can try to reduce the acidity of your matcha. As with any beverage, moderation is essential. As with any beverage, moderation is essential. Enjoying matcha in reasonable amounts as part of a balanced diet is safe for most people. Also, make sure not to drink too much matcha on an empty stomach. You can also pair the matcha with alkaline foods, such as leafy greens, fruits, and vegetables. Finally, it's important to stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water throughout the day can help maintain a proper pH balance in the body. So to summarize everything up, matcha is mildly acidic in its raw form, but it has an alkalizing effect on the body when it's metabolized. The presence of catechins and amino acids in the matcha play an important role in neutralizing acidity and contributing to potential health benefits. If you'd like to try some matcha for yourself, we would really appreciate it if you could go to neotees.com and try some of the matchas that we found during our travels around Japan. Over the past few years, we've met with dozens of tea farmers and sampled hundreds of different types of matcha teas. We've ultimately selected a small handful of our favorites, and we're so happy to share them with all of you, with free shipping worldwide. If you order some matcha, it would really help to support everything that we do on this channel, and another way to support the channel is by liking this video and subscribing to see more like it in the future. If you have any questions about matcha or green tea in general, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you next time.